Hi everybody, I'm back, and I thought I would do a quick DIY. Um, yeah, I know this looks really strange, but I was planning on finishing it kind of on camera this morning, but it's not really actually done, so I need to do some more work on it. So basically what this is, is it's going to be Darling. Um, I kind of put a couple tweaks to it. Um, I read about it in a magazine. Um, I can't show you the picture, but when it's done, it's going to be absolutely Darling. What it is, is um, if you can see, it's obviously leaves that I have taken and um, I took a balloon, blew it up, and it's inside a bowl which holds it up. And uh, you do it halfway. And it says to use Elmer's glue I, instead of Mod Podge. I think I prefer Mod Podge, but it said to, to dilute the Elmer's glue down one part water, one part glue. So I used Elmer's glue wasn't sticking well so it said to put three or four coats of leaves on it so I only have one one or two coats and then when I got reading further it said real leaves and I'm going great because I went and bought five bags of silk leaves now they look beautiful um, but there's nowhere in our area that I can find a, an assortment of colored leaves that look this beautiful. So anyway, what it is, is, excuse the mess, I have a bowl here, and it, it looks really bad from the bottom. It, um, you put the leaves, you glue them onto to a balloon, and here's the bottom. Of course, I had to get pink. When I got home, I thought, why didn't I get an autumnal color? And then if I left a little spot, it wouldn't show through so much. Now, every little pink spot I have to cover with a leaf, which is really crazy. I should have bought red, brown, green, yellow, something. But, of course, knowing me, I had to buy a bag of pink balloons. I couldn't just get one balloon. Anyway, so in the magazine, it shows it just... Uh, bright red leaves and bright yellow leaves. Now I thought green and this whole assortment would be beautiful. So what you do with this is you take, um, I'll show you guys how to do it all and everything, but you can see the leaves are all glued on. I've got to do another two layers. I bought several bags of leaves. I think they were $1.99 each at Michael's or whatever. So I think I'm going to do just one more coat. I was like, I said to my husband, they're not sticking well. And, and he said, read the directions again. And it said real leaves. And I'm like, well, that's probably part of why it's not sticking well. But outside of here, all we have is pine trees. So my mom's leaves are not this beautiful green, you know, yellow. I'd have to go to a park. And I don't know if you can take leaves from a park. And then the guy have to be pressed. And I would need hundreds. Anyway, so what you do is you blow a balloon up. And then you take, you glue these leaves onto it, and you glue them halfway. I went a little bit, little bit further down. Um, and then once you have them all covered around it, and you can't see any of the balloon, which, like on this side, you can see a little bit of the pink. Yeah, I still have to glue a few more there. And it said to do three to four layers. This took me hours. Um, and some are kind of loose, so I need to go back over them. I think once I get them all glued on, I'll take Mod Podge and just paint it over them really thick. Then what you do is pop the balloon with a pin, take it out, pop it out, and then it turns into a leaf bowl, and it is darling. It is really, really cute. I mean, let me show you the side that has. You can see the parts that still needs leaves and the part that are the parts that are uneven. But it that's how, kind of how it's supposed to be. And then I thought once I got it filled, once I got the bowl, um, once I got the balloon popped, I guess it pulls right out. I was going to try and fill, uh, put leaves around something else because for the life of me, I could not find a balloon around here anywhere yesterday. I had to go buy a whole bag. Anyway. So, yeah, and I thought I would set it in our entryway and leave a little hole in the bottom and put some white lights in it just for the fall or whatever. I thought it would be really cute. Now, I don't know how sturdy this is going to be once it's popped. Um, it says it's sturdy. It Now, in the picture, um, it's in a magazine, uh, All You, actually, this month, if you want to look it up. 
there's a really cute pumpkin on the cover with a bunch of little it's one of those plastic pumpkins and it's got uh, ribbons on the sides it's a little busy and then it's got little cats inside of it with the lid popped kind of halfway open anyway um, there's a frame in here that I'd like to make it's got little tiny tiny pine cones little tiny ones you just have to go and glue them on one by one now I'm not going to be making too big of a frame but it called for a nine inch balloon I think I blew too much air in it, into it what my husband said but anyway so I was all ready to get have it done this morning pop it and pull the balloon off in air on you know on camera and then you just turn it around and set it upside down like this and you have a leaf bowl for the fall and I thought you could put you know if you could make it sturdy enough you could put your Halloween candy in that you could put I think I'm gonna put just white lights I thought it'd be beautiful it would show through the colors yeah the one problem is it, is it calls for real leaves so that's that that's the one DIY um, yeah it says blow up and not place in bowl not facing down of course the bowl will help keep balloons stable while you work on it mix glue and water in a cup um, working from top to bottom down brush glue mixture into leaf size area of balloon place a leaf then glue and apply glue over it well it's not as easy as it sounds and buying a pink balloon pink set of balloons is crazy now this side I think I've got pretty well covered I've got a bunch more balloons I have to glue onto it now don't mind the bottom I've just got drips it looks really bad you know you can see drips from the colors but that's not going to be there I don't know how the how well the balloons going to pull out of it once you pop it um, I would think it would be glued on there and anyway so yeah and then it just says uh, a straight it says the strut things you need is a soup plate a cup water spoon a paintbrush leaves that have turned color and a straight pin and I assume silk leaves what what's better than anyway Oh, and I changed the bedding behind me. I could not find the matching duvet for this set. It's beautiful. It's got roses on it. I have to look more for it, but at least the bed looks better. Yeah. So I've got my Mac or my Mad Mac over here, and then I've got my glossy box. This I just can't seem to. Whoops. I can't seem to, uh, you know, put this stuff away. This is so beautiful. Anyway. So yeah, I've just got that sitting there for now. But then I've got another DIY I was going to do on the air. So, or I keep saying on the air like it's a radio station. But um, I I hate to ruin it. This took so much work. I need to glue a few more leaves onto it. And then I will um, pop it and come on and show you what it looks like. I don't want to make a big mess, a loud boom anything but you can see how it's taking shape to a, a bowl and I need the leaves to be kind of the way the bowl is showing it at the t excuse me the top sticky I don't want to get all sticky I'm going to a beauty event at Macy's so anyway yeah, I've got to get going pretty soon but anyway um, in the picture they just did two different colors which was like fire red you know the leaves that turned beautiful red and then a, a yellow and I thought I wanted to do green all different colors so I don't know what whatever possessed me to buy a pink pink balloons you guys know me I thought oh pink cool and then I get at home and I'm like why did I buy pink I needed to buy an autumnal color like burgundy or you know brown or I don't know if they sell brown balloons. It was in the party section of Walmart. So, yeah. This is a 9-inch balloon. My husband said, I think you're blowing that up too big. But you guys know me. Bigger is better. So you can see the bottom is completely done. It's beautiful. So, yeah. That's once everything's done, you set it down. Hold it by the top, which is very sticky. All the glues run down. You can see how it's kind of messy on the sides, but that doesn't matter. The balloon's going in the trash. Oh, and I guess the pink wouldn't show, but I don't want holes. 
So later on, I need to go through and stick about probably 20 or 40 more leaves on it, which I have. Bought several packets. And then I saw the cutest thing. I thought once I get it finished, I will clip these on the edges. These are so cute. I thought I could clip one. I don't want too many, you know, or whatever. Um, maybe put them on our tree. I don't know. They're more fallish. They had, they can either hang or they can clip. But I thought they're the perfect color. Let's see if I slide. Whoops! I dropped the magazine. But if I slide this over, look how pretty these would look. Just clipped on the edge. I mean, once it's flipped over and turned into a bowl. So yeah, I thought in the whole project it says costs like two dollars and fifty cents, and that's about well that's a, that's a low. I mean, if they're your own leaves, yes, it'd be two dollars and fifty cents. But if you have to buy silk leaves, it's a little bit more. I think it was one ninety nine, and I had to buy like four packets. But I bought green, glittered, gold. So yeah, I was just dying this morning. I wanted to get up, pop it. And then I saw um, some holes, and I was just getting frustrated. I had glue everywhere, and so yeah, there's that. That's the DIY. Just avoid. Don't look at the bowl. I'm saying, just look at this, and you can see why I've where why I stopped where I stopped because um, the bowls the why well, I'm setting it there. It's gonna spread out. You know, and be flat on the bottom, hopefully, and just come up to here. Let me move this out of the way. It's going to, once you pop it, the balloon at the top, it's going to kind of flatten out, I hope. And then just spread out and, ha you know, just be a round bowl. And I'm hoping it's going to be sturdy. Now, it feels to me sturdy because it's got so many silk leaves. I've got two layers on it now, so I need to do one more layer. Uh, patch up the pink spots that I missed. Actually, a leaf just fell off of it. This is a kind of a goldish color. Um, beautiful. And then you just, what I did was I took a, me a measuring cup and poured some Elmer's glue and adds, added some water and I used a brush and just dipped the bottom of the leaf in, stuck it on, and then I had to paint over it. But these should be hanging, these um, leaves should be, let me lift this up, should be hanging down like this so that when it's upside down, see what I'm saying, when it's upside down, this, the top part of it's going to be the bottom, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, there's no glue there, that's why it's not sticking, but, I, it was very frustrating, you almost need somebody to hold the balloon, at first, before you get any weight on it, it will not stay in the bowl. It's very frustrating, but I thought, oh, what a cute project. And then I saw these. I thought one clipped on the edge of the bowl would be so cute. Just one. You don't need two. I think two would be too many. So, yeah, I bought those. So there's the first DIY. And then the second one I'm going to sh actually show you guys how to do. This is for Christmas. So this is the clear bulbs that I was talking about. And then I've got all the paint. I've got red, every color you could imagine inside here. This is I've got so many crafts. Yeah, here's all the paints. But I thought I would start out with red. Is what you do is you take red, red or whatever. There's not much left in here. I don't think there's enough. So I'm going to have to use a different color. Green. Here's a green. This one's full. Um, yeah, whatever color you want. I'm going to do mine in like candy colors. Real bright to match our couch. So I'm, I've got to make a whole bunch of bulbs. But they're beautiful once they're made. I've done them before. So you take them out. Now, I'm not actually doing this right now. That's crazy. Um, I didn't see. There's a light pink. I don't want that. Here's a perfect color pink. I can show you real quick. This is like a pinkish red, so this would be perfect. So you take it and pull this off, the little hanger thing, and hang on to that. And then uh, I don't have my little thing to pour them into, so I will just show you real quick. 
You take the paint. Whoa, I slipped on the outside. I don't have a napkin. So let me wipe it with this. You've got to be very, very careful with this, or I can just go wipe it um, with something when I'm done. But anyway, so yeah, there's the bulb. You can see where I missed. You just take the paint, dump it inside. You want to put quite a bit. I just slipped it, slipped, slopped it on the other side. If you wipe it per fast enough, which I don't have a napkin, which was really smart, Nana. I'll have to use a plastic bag for now. So, yeah, I don't want it dripping down the outside. You can always, oh my gosh, did that dry that fast? You've got to be kidding me. That dried that fast. Oh, that's inside. That's inside. It's the other side. You just wipe it off. So, yeah. You just wipe it off the outside very quickly. I can't get up and go to a sink. So, yeah, if you spill any on it or you just have a wet rag by you. Okay, so that's on the inside. Yeah, I couldn't figure out why it dried so fast. So, yeah, you just pretty much fill it with paint. You don't fill it, but let me move my hand. Whatever color bulbs you want, let's just put uh, that much in it for now and see what happens. You swirl it around like this until the whole bulb is covered. This is pretty much how the professionals make them. And then you swirl it around and then you end up with your own homemade bulbs that are colored with paint that you've picked out because I mean you can't buy let's say your house is turquoise and brown like my mom's like I was going to do our new house and you wanted to do your tree in turquoise and brown you're never going to find a well actually they had at Costco brown ornaments but they're not easy to find you know find so what you do is you swirl this paint around until you've got the whole bulb covered you can make designs, you can mix them, you can make tie-dye. It'd be a fun thing to do with the kids. Just set them at the table, make sure the table's covered well, because believe me, it's going to be messy. And then, once you get the whole bulb covered, you just roll this around the paint. Roll it around, roll it around. I'm going to do a lot of these so you guys will be able to see me do more. I have to do enough for our whole tree. I'm going to do all different colors. Candy colors and, you know. So, yeah, we have a flock tree. I don't know if we're going to get a real one or what we're going to do. But I keep adding paint because it's just it just goes faster. And then you just take the lid off the paint container and pour it back in and then you turn this upside down on a piece of newspaper and let it see there's one little hole there that I did, didn't get I'm almost done so yeah you just keep swirling it around until the inside of the bulb is painted isn't that crazy easy that is so simple now this was not in the magazine this was my idea I did this one year I thought one year I was sticking roses inside there everybody thought how did you get that in there I said I can't tell you it's a secret secret formula but you can put anything in these um, one year I had some little mini ornaments and they happened to fit through the hole so they were hanging inside these and they looked really cute but we've got several thousands of dollars worth of Martha Stewart houses that we put on our tree and I think just this year I'm gonna do bulbs and candy so anyway let's get this without dripping on my dress I'm wearing my leopard skin and I'm gonna take my cards around and hopefully I can go to a beauty counter that's gonna to listen to me anyway 
So yeah, you guys get the point. There's a little spot that's not covered, and I do not want to spill it on me. So you bring it all the way back. And and then another thing I did, you can see that one spot that's not covered right there. You want to make sure that the whole thing, and you got to work fairly fast. These um, bulbs were 40% off at Michael's, and I think they were $2. So you could do a whole tree for very inexpensive. The paint, I think, is $0.88 cents a piece, but I have got so much paint, I don't think I'll need to buy the paint. Uh, and the, the colors that I want that matches our couch, yeah, probably. I need to buy some teal or some turquoise or something. Come on, that one spot. So then what I do is I undo the lid, pour it back into the paint, and then I turn it upside down. I'm trying to swish it around without spilling it. There we go. It looks like I got the entire bulb. No, I didn't. So I'm going to have to pour a little bit more in here. And try and pour it out this way. Now the top, the top like cork part, you know, where you put the, that doesn't really matter how well it's painted because it's got a, a silver thing over it. Now one year I painted those by hand red. You can also do that if you don't want the silver um, but there's your ornament isn't that crazy there's a red ornament it used to be clear it's beautiful so I got a little bit of paint on the outside it wipes right off so yeah you go in the bathroom kinda of clean them up turn them upside down on something some newspaper let them dry you want to let the paint, of course, drip out of them. Pour it back into the paint container, or it's a waste. See how much paint's dripping in there? It's crazy. You don't want to waste that. Um, if you're going to do six in one color, six in another color, or just do a few, um, you can even you can even do it tie dye if you like that. You can mix paints. You can take white and pink or white and red um, and put the red in and the white and swirl them together and it's beautiful. I will show you how that looks too. So anyway, that's another DIY. And then when they're dry, you, you of course you store them upside down so the, the rest of the paint will drip out. Um, Right now I'm trying to pour this out. It's pretty well coated. Makes them heavier. But these ornaments were so inexpensive. They were 40% off. And they came in a package like this. Six to a package. I think they were $1.99. So, yeah. And then here's the top. You know, you just squeeze these two. You gotta be really careful you don't break the glass. Put it back on. And one year I uh, painted these with the matching color of the bulb, and then I tied a ribbon around it with a with a a hanger and hung it on the tree. It was beautiful. We'll show you guys a picture of it. But anyway, there's that DIY. So Christmas and fall. So I'm definitely gonna work on that plate today. I will be back. And that plate will be that or plate bowl will be done, and I'm hoping it will be strong enough. Unless I have to cut a piece of cardboard or something to put on the inside and put some leaves over that, I'm hoping it'll be strong enough to hold candy for the kids when they trick or treat. I doubt it. It's because it's pretty fragile. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I will link everything down below. If you have any questions, I will help you. But look at that. It went from a clear one to whatever color you want. That is crazy. Isn't that not crazy? And you don't even really need to worry about the neck of it. I usually take it to a wet tissue, wipe the paint off, turn it upside down, store it overnight so all the paint drips out. But the whole bulb is covered. Crazy, huh? And this is not red. This is part, uh, kind of a color of our couch. 
so yeah, I'm doing all, I'm doing blue, not, not a, like Hanukkah blue, I'm doing a different shade of blue, kind of like a teal blue, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, thanks for watching, I will be back soon, my Ipsy bag got cancelled accidentally, I am distraught, I really wanted this bag this month, so... I begged him and begged him. I got, I paid for it, so I, I'm hoping I get this bag. Otherwise, I have to wait till October, and I'm still waiting on my September glossy box, so that's coming. And the candy box, and there's, there's, oh, another Etsy, two Etsy boxes coming. So yeah, lots more things to do, more DIYs. Uh, but I can't wait until that fall. Actually, what probably what I could do is, well, this would probably make a mess, is take the lid off of this and just put it back on here. But I don't want to get paint on the ornament. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I think it it does coat, it coats it pretty thick. And if you see a spot that's got like a hole or a bubble, you want to go back over it with paint. Otherwise, that's what you're going to see on your tree. So, some of them, sometimes I will leave them just clear. Some of them, I put Christmas lights in them that ran on batteries. They were beautiful. They hung and they lit up. But I had to go through the tree and light everyone up. But <clears throat> now it's way too soon to put this back on. You have to wait till this is completely dry before you put this back on. The silver and some of these I took and hand painted them, which was a little bit. I can show you the ornament. It's downstairs, red. Um, I hand painted it, but I think it looks better. It looks more like a store, you know. And that way you can do your own custom ornaments. You know your own colors. You just go to the paint section of a craft store, and you can pick out whatever color. If you want light pink, you know to have it by the bed, whatever, any color. Black. I was going to do a black and white tree, but then I thought it's Christmas. You don't want black and white. I'm doing black and white wrapping for the tree. It's going to be beautiful. But and I wish I could show you these. Um, this bowl, but it's going to turn out beautiful. So I have one hand to hold this. Otherwise, I would show you the bowl again. But thank you for watching. Um, I've got to get off to this beauty event. Um, it's going to be at Macy's, and they're going to have a crazy sale. And I wanted to talk to some different makeup companies and see if maybe they'll let me blog for them. Who knows? So thank you for watching. Um, today, I was it was a toss between. It's cold, very cold here now. It's crazy. It was a toss between my le my leather pants and my my dress. So I'm wearing my dress. I'll back up like a lady and sit on the bed. I'm wearing my sweater, my dress, and my boots. With I don't know if you can see them. Do it this way. No, my boots with black socks with. They're, they're from Pika Boots. They have uh, black socks and they have crocheted lace around them. So, yeah, I'm wearing my high-low dress and then a sweater underneath. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to take a black purse with me. I don't want to carry that bright pink coach. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you later. Um, I don't even know what time this starts, but it should be starting soon. i got to finish my hair and get going. So, Two things, but I can't wait till that bowl is done. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Have a great day and stay safe. Love y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, because I'll subscribe back. Bye.